and the day we met around the end of September. We we said the 30th because we weren't sure exactly what day at the end of September that we met in 2001. But um, today, what is it, 26th? 26th. So we said, what if we met on the 26th? And, and we're doing this challenge, this husband tag. So we don't know when we met, but it would be dope if we met on the 26th. So we're going to go ahead and christen today through the 30th as our 20th year knowing each other. Oh, How you feel about that? It's a beautiful thing. I feel it and I know it, it is this week. So, and uh, I just feel like it's a shift. It's a, it's a beautiful shift of living a chapter, a many chapters. I don't know what you call it. It's a thing. Chapters, like mm -hmm. an epilogue or a first novel. It might be a completion of a chapter because we have a lot of chapters and we have more chapters that we're going to go. So this is just the end of an era and the beginning of a new era. Yeah, the beginning of a new era. That's, right. all, that's all I was getting at. Right. The beginning of a new era. You right. know? And I look forward to it. Yep. It's a beautiful thing. It is wonderful to know somebody and still here rocking with them 20 years later. Dope. So, I won't bore you. This <laughs> is a husband tag that I was presented that we are going to ask each other questions. I have read uh, some. I haven't, we haven't read the question. I haven't read the question. We haven't read the question. So I read. I breezed through the questions, but I didn't want to go in depth and read them because I didn't want to really be prepared. So, if you if you interested, you want to rock with us, get to know us. Check us out and listen to these questions, see how we answer. Beautiful. And I will start off with, what is my true icon? Don't do that. Brown. Dark brown. brown. Like, okay. When we say brown. That is not one of the questions. <laughs> no, that is not one of the questions. Okay. When we say brown, right? Mm -hmm. Your shirt is brown. Right. Your skin is brown. Right. Your lips are a brown. Right. Brown, brown, brown. Okay, what, what he would like me to say is when the light hits his eyes just right, they do have a tint of light brown. Light brown. Okay. But light. any other time, it got to be in the right light. It got to be in the right light. But, but it's right. But they're, they're brown. Yeah, of course you would pick that. No, I just <laughs> came across it. It was there. Yeah. He said he shoot. got hazel as, uh... I can ask you another one if you want me to. Yeah, go ahead, because I haven't prepared myself to fill up the question. What is my favorite TV show? Old or recent? Yeah. I know your favorite old one. You want me to do old and a recent? <coughs> Bless you. I'm going to do an old and a recent. Okay. Deuce the Hazard is the old. <laughs> <laughs> and the new, I guess the only TV show we really watch is Power. The, the Power series. Okay. I can make it. Okay, what's mine? What's your favorite shows? Old and new? Yeah. Oh, love hip hop. What? No. <laughs> um, no. Are you serious? Love hip hop. No, no, no. That's okay. 
<laughs> that is not a TV. We're talking about a network TV show. Okay, you're right, you're right, you're right. Okay. Oh, so. And I don't even watch Love and Hip Hop. It's old. You don't. Oh. I used to watch. I don't watch this half of them. But that, that's because it went off air. Right. Love and Hip Hop okay. might as well. Don't do that. Well. TV show. <laughs> well, <laughs> you want me to say it? Yeah, no. <laughs> the the Cosby Show. Okay, the Cosby Show. The Cosby Show was probably like my one of my favorite shows growing up, and um, um, different world too. I know. Mean. So new shows, so we did like new shows. It's probably gonna be power because that's power. the only show yeah. we really watch. We don't watch them. because I would say insecure. I would yeah. say insecure, but yeah. it's not know, on it right yeah, now. Yeah, oh, but it's about to come on. She's been snatched it from us, and she ain't, she ain't gave us no more. So okay, I, I can say it's that was that's our favorite show. How about that? Right, power. Power right now, but before that. It was uh, uh, insecure. How did you know? I um, in a nutshell, when you look up, when you when you when you start looking for something that you think you know you want, or you know you want, it's a uh, process you go through that you decide on it, rock with it, see if you are right me or something, that this was the right choice. Um, and it ain't failed me, it was just 20 years later. But how did you know? Um, what it meant for you to know? Or what? I felt it, you know, when you... When you know true love, you know true butterflies. You know true, you know that feeling that it gives you. So that felt good. So what I did know is I wanted to manage, see where this feeling could take me. Right. So I wanted to manifest it and invest in it and you know what I mean, see where it takes me. So I just knew because just the compatibility, I would say, mm -hmm. off top, just simple, like, uh, you know, we met off talking, like, we met off just having a cool conversation just outside over a cigarette, <laughs> and, you know, to have such a dope conversation off a cigarette with somebody, hey, you know, right. will make you want to explore it more. Absolutely. I would say how I knew. I don't know if I, I don't know if I knew you were the one yet, but I knew I wanted to definitely carry it further is when we lost contact. And so it was a short period of time where we had met, we had kicked it and everything, and I didn't have his phone number, and he didn't have my phone number. <laughs> like, that was crazy. Like, we kicked it for maybe like about, what, like three weeks? And um, I moved from the place that I was at and the place that he was coming to where I met him at. And after um, after we moved, we did we got so caught up in just having conversation and talking with each other that we didn't even bother to exchange phone numbers. So I was going to my homegirl like, yo, tell your cousin, you know, um, give me Rodney's phone number. Like, I don't have no way to contact him. And I think it might have been like another week before he actually called me. And I was and I was really anticipating on getting his call. So I think I ain't gonna say that made me know you were the one, but that was the one thing that I will say that kinda was like, I really like this dude and I hope we don't fall off like that. Just cause, you know, we didn't follow through. But Alright, so So to keep it good she, who do you think said I love you first. 
And if you can remember that. I can't remember that. When was it? Do you remember? Yes. Okay. And who said it first? Me. Okay. <laughs> Where were we? You want to tell the story? Yeah. I don't remember that. Okay, I, I remember we used to go down, down by the water a lot. But I don't know how much time we lived. We'll just go to it. Okay, we'll go to it. Yeah, but it was sweet. It was you? That's sweet, though. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, you asked two, so I asked two. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> I won't ask you a deep one. Uh, places you want to travel. Let's just do one piece. One piece? Yeah, I already know mine, but go ahead with you. Places I want. I'm going to go to the pyramids for sure. That's the same one I was going to say. I want to go to Egypt. Yeah, most definitely. I got to go to the pyramids. Um, hopefully, I'm going to come back. I don't know. Whatever. But I'll find a true meaning of life over there. And when I'm riding on the camel, and just, but no, I just, it's just so magnificent in pictures and video that I have to just see it in person. We're going to see it. We're going to affirm it and put it on out there. We'll show y'all when we go. Boom. So, um, and so I'll change mine. And it's going to sound crazy because it's going to be long. But I want to take my African ancestry and wherever my African ancestry leads me to, that's what I want to go with. Yep. I want to see if there's some people out there that I could I could relate to. Or I say, oh, I look like that. But I'm pretty sure in Africa, every you, every black person, will, you got a clone from someone. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if you find your own. Like, it's many, it's black people in Africa. Like, it's somebody there that's bound to look like that. <laughs> But that's, that's what I want to try to do. Okay. So, yeah. Do you remember our first date? Yes. How was it? Can you tell me a little bit about Okay. Our first date was church. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> um, <coughs> you asked me to go to church with you. And I was like, for real? And you was like, yeah, I want you to go to church with me. So... That was our first date, and it was dope, because, like, like, I don't know, he set the foundation of, you know, making sure that, you know, it was definitely something way more deeper than just meeting a girl, meeting a dude, and you know what I'm saying, so, yeah, he, his, our first date, he asked me to go to church with him, and he asked me to, and that's where I met his parents at. <laughs> it was. It was definitely like, okay, he a good boy or whatever, like, yeah, yeah, uh huh. Um, okay, this might be a deep one. Where do we argue about the most? We argue about the most. Arguing. What? <laughs> <laughs> we argue about arguing. But no, what's the topic that we argue about the most? Um, we definitely argue about um, not seeing eye to eye on things. Only to communication, you know. Probably only to, at the end of the day, be trying to present the same thing, same. Maybe just in different ways. In different ways, yes. yes. I think that would be the, most, the definite thing we argue about the most. That we're so alike, that we both heads. <laughs> it's crazy because we talk about it, and it'd be like, you know, if any outside situation, we could look at somebody else's situation or whatever and agree right. on it, like. 
yeah, that person probably shouldn't do that. Nah, they shouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to our own situation, <laughs> it be like sometimes that communication breakdown. It just be like I don't even want to talk to you. But we will have that breakdown, and then eventually we always try to come together to try to figure it out. Even if coming together and figuring out means to agree to disagree. Like, we ain't never going to, we, we two human people, even though we think a lot in a lot of ways, we're different in a lot of ways too. So, you know, sometimes you got to just come to your partner and be like, I love you enough to be like, I, I see that's how you feel. That's how you feel that way. I don't agree with that, but we going to move on. Facts. So, um, good segue into my question. Okay. Um, so one, one could say, you can never look at somebody's situation and be like, oh, they this, they that. But one would say, if we're at least at this point, from the G2 video, opening up our life to the world, um, that we have done something right, right? What would you say are key elements um, that you can give, that you can say are successful things to keep a, a healthy marriage? Like, what are, maybe give me two key elements that you feel like could be more of a tip to keep a successful marriage that we practice. Mm. I think we definitely um, have a book. Okay. Um, I feel like we both have a belief in a good, strong support system, and whatever the other one wants to do to elevate. Um, I see the potential in him. I know he sees the potential in me, and he's like my—he's my biggest cheerleader, you know. And I have friends and cheerleaders out there, but just the support um, that I have from him on, in every endeavor that I do, and the support that I have for him in every endeavor that he does, I think that's a strong thing and, you know, keeping us, you know, good because we both know the potential each other has. Yeah. And I think overall, Throughout it all for me, I did a second one anyway. He's just a good person. For real, like, you're a good person. Everybody, nobody's perfect, but at the end of it and the root of it and the inside of it, like, you have a dope aura about you that you attract people to you, and you're a good person because he's had a good side. Uh, my first kiss, do you remember that? Yes. Our first kiss was when we was moving from Stacy's house. Yep, that's how he left me, y'all. He left me with a kiss, <laughs> like Cinderella or something. Like, ain't had no phone number, or nothing. I just got a kiss. Mm. Strung out. He would have. He won't even that. He won't that. I could have been like that. He won't that. But I, but I did like you. Was it good? Yes. Good. If you bake me a cake, what kind of cake would I like? What kind of cake would it be? Mm, some with some fruit. Some fruit. No. You want a cake? It'd be a red velvet cake. <laughs> what are you talking about right now? How does velvet come from play? Never mind. Okay, you just don't drop that one. What is one unique talent I have? Hey. <laughs> don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> That's a talent, being loving. Yeah, 
Oh, that's a personality trait. Is it? Yeah. Okay, what so talent do I have? A unique talent. You can put together a meal. I can get my chop dog? Yes. Okay. Yes. You definitely have chop capabilities, food network. Okay. Uh, and whole shelf capabilities. Okay. Uh, and that's just one of the 6,700 uh -huh. unique things about you. Okay. Yeah. A unique talent you have. Um. I don't know, your, your line of work is unique in general, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not a lot of... If you were a customer of mine, <laughs> man, that, that's how I was asking you a question, though. What? If you were a customer of mine, what would you want me to do for you in your house? What? Like a custom, like some custom. Oh, what custom would I want you to do in our house? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I was just saying hypothetically. I got some real stuff I want you to do in the house. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, look, I got some real stuff I want to be done in the house, so. We're going we gonna to videotape that. So, keep a watch out for his chat. One of the questions is, what is my heritage and where am I from? His heritage is African. I don't know no further back than that. Black. We African American that's not good to say no more. Um, I think you can still say it. Uh, but he's he's I mean I know American. I know Africa don't really want us to associate with them. And America really don't want us to associate with them, so we done lost the children yeah. of Israel. Tribe, tribe, <laughs> we lost tribe of tribe of limbo. <laughs> so. Anyway. And um you were born in Sumter, South Carolina, but your roots lie in Warrington, North Carolina, and your military brand has been all over. The W's for Warrington. Okay. And the Ramon, we'll ask one more question. What can I spend hours doing? You can spend hours doing a lot of things. Um, hmm. You can spend hours fishing. Okay, I'm gonna ask this last question. All right. Um, when did you meet? I told when I met you right. at church. I don't know. It's kind of unique because you know, your family is. Yeah, my mom and dad were together. two birds and one stone, I had to go do it twice. Mm. So your mother remembered me as I whisked you away to Warrington right. on a weekend getaway to ride the horses. Yep. Um, your father, I think I met on, I don't know, I want to say it could have been like a uh, holiday some type of holiday. It seemed like it was like a family event. Or yeah, something. some type of it was holiday a lot of people or family around. event where you know you go around family's house and it was there, you know bring that nigga around here uh, yeah. episode, you know. What did so, he say to you? Um, you know what? I said, um, did he ask you, Aren't you? Are you having sex with my family? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was time. I'm breaking the air. Right. Like okay. and, <laughs> I think he said um, that. Are you having sex with my daughter? 
the main thing I remember <laughs> about this man is that he never felt, maybe felt uncomfortable like you would think that, you know, you would be in a position where you would be uncomfortable or something, or I would have to feel this man or something like that. You never, 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 mm -hmm. never gave me that. That mind. was his purpose, so, though. That was right. definitely his goal. It was definitely cool getting that out the way, one and done, and never having to do that again. <laughs> so, yes. So, I guess that's it. We just wanted to do our husband and wife tag. 20 years together, celebrate and prayerfully, not 20 more greater that it seems far beyond what we were able to do in the first half. Awesome songs. Yep. And just gonna close out with just letting everybody know thank you for joining. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and continue to do the most so you can be the most. It's not that I want you.